Melissa. Let's talk with Melissa and Paul. It is New Year's Day at 3.34. My husband and I, Paul, mm -mm -mm, already had a, for, I mean, I don't like using this word, but I don't know how else to say it. Uh, we already had a, mm, you start off to the 20, I won't use the word. It begins with an S. You know, like a screwdriver. Um, that's all I'm going to say. We already have one of those moments for 2021. Paul and I were running around today. And we have uh, this thing went off in the car letting us know that our tire, and it told us which tire. I, I'm sorry, we're getting this kind of weird effect from the window, the light coming in the window. So I'm really sorry for that. Um, this thing went off in the car letting us know that our uh, front, right, well, like here, I'm sitting in the car here, uh, to the driver's seat is Paul, and I'm over here in the passenger seat. The wheel by the passenger seat, the front tire, just started losing air. It just, it went down to 26 pounds and let us know that there was a problem and that we needed to check it out. So, Paul found a speedway. I've got my speedway drink. I, had, I filled it with a little bit of icy and then I topped it off with um, Coke Zero. And then there's also some ice in there to keep it nice and cold. Found a speedway and put some air in the tire. Started driving because we were going to go to Costco. We... We really didn't think Costco was going to be open, but it was one of those days where, you know, we just wanted to, it was just him and I, and we were just going to get out, and so we didn't really care. We didn't know where we were headed yet. Costco was closed, and after we put the air in the tire and was driving again, it just started losing air again. Luckily, uh, we had passed... Um, I think it was a Firestone. Firestone. Was that the one that we got it fixed at? Anyhow, we passed two kind of a good good year. I think that one was closed. And then a, a Firestone. I said, Paul, it's open. I saw the open. I said, pull in there. Then they were really close together, only like a few doors down. So, long story short. Had to pay um, $176 and some change for a new tire. Keep in mind, I'm really irritated. This car is less than two years old. Brand new, we bought it brand new, less than two years old. Two of the tires have already messed up. The first tire um, got a screw in it, and they were able to plug that and fix it at the tire place. Now, here we are today. What happened with this one is they said there was a puncture in the um, the white wall area. Couldn't be fixed, had to be replaced, almost $200 on that. So I'm just really irritated. Brand new, less than two year old car, and we've already had two mess ups with tires. I don't understand this. Anyhow, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rant and rave. <laughs> but. Um, I'm just letting you know how this 2021 came in. Um, so after we got the tire fixed, while we were waiting, we went over to Jersey Mike's and um, we went to Walmart. So I do have, this is a Walmart haul. It's just uh, some things we got at Walmart. And then and this Westchester Walmart down the street where I used to grow up. Where I lived from 15 to 30 in this Westchester before I got married. They had a Goodwill, so I also have some Goodwill stuff. Uh, it's like $25 at Goodwill. I don't remember. Oh, it was almost $90 at Walmart. And after Goodwill, um, we went driving by where I used to live. So let me show you this. See in the picture... And the end of the cul-de-sac where all the cars are, um, that was my childhood, well, my, 
not childhood home, but where I lived from 15 to 30. My dad had that house built. These are our neighbors, two houses up. They live in this house, okay? And they still live there. So we actually got to talk to them today. This is Jim and Joyce Deneen. Um, we were always, you know, um, there when we were in high school. Their kids and us, and we were, you know, running around doing stuff. Anyhow, we got to see them today, so it was so nice that we got to talk to them for a little bit on this very cold, very wet day. Okay, I also am going to have a video that I took. Look for that. It's going to be my childhood home. Is it really considered childhood, even though, I w you know, it was like from 15 to 30? I don't know. And I'm going to say it's my childhood home, okay? That was the drive Paul and I did. So, that's going to be coming. So, let's start out first with the stuff that I found at Goodwill. It was a very, very nice Goodwill. It wasn't a big Goodwill. You know, we, I don't know what it is. We don't have any big Goodwills around here. And the two Goodwills in Lebanon, one of them is real junky. I don't like it at all. And the other one is nicer, but you don't really find a lot. I, I see people finding all kinds of really neat stuff. I don't know. I did like this, the selection of this store. Very clean. Very clean. However, because it's in Westchester, I feel like the prices were a lot higher than it would be at any other store. I did see a lot of things that I would like to have, but they were $10 each. And I don't know. At a Goodwill, I kind of feel like that's kind of crazy, but okay. Let me show you what I got, and I'll tell you how much I paid, okay? I'm sorry, you're going to hear crinkling because there are a lot of glass items that I bought. I got one of these drink dispensers. It's called um, Tropical Feeling. I don't know if you can see that really well. Um, it's a clear, and it says Tropical Feeling. It has this up here at the top that screws off. And then it has one of these really cute type of dispenser um, things. This was only $4. And I've seen these in um, Walmart and stuff. And I've always wanted one, but I never, you know, paid what it was. So I decided today I was getting it. What I plan on doing is I am really going to try to go into the year 2021 drinking more tea and not so much diet soda, okay? That's sort of going to be my New Year's resolution, even though I don't like to do New Year's resolution-y things. So, I'm planning on using this to make some of my fruity teas. So, I have to try to figure out, instead of hot, I do like hot tea when I'm have trouble with my throat or whatever, but I want to try to figure out um, how to make my, I've got some really nice fruity teas, berries and all kinds of stuff. I bought a whole box of like fruit blend, so I want to take and make this into iced tea and put this in the refrigerator where like it won't have sugar yet, it'll just be the tea part. And then I'll put the ice in it later. So I just want to have it ready to go so there's no excuses. No excuses for Melissa to say, Oh, I wish I had tea, but I'm tired. I don't want to do it. That's what this is for. Four dollars. I don't know if you can see that. Where's the... It's right up here. Four dollars. I don't think you can see it. Um, I like it. It's pink. They had another one that was a watermelon, really pretty one that I would have liked better. But the dispenser was not this kind. It was the kind that you kind of push down. And those kind of, I'm always afraid that those will leak. So I liked this dispenser better, so that's why I got this one. Okay, that's what I got. It's going to be for Melissa's tea. Oh, yeah, we also have a Speedway. <laughs> Speedway oh. um, I got my other half of my Jersey Mike sub in here I need to put that in the refrigerator oh. nuggets two nuggets for the babies okay this is oh this is heavy 
This is my other breakable stuff. I found these oven, microwave, and dishwasher safe, these little crocs. You know, I don't really care that these have um, gingerbread men on them. It's a mini loaf pan, but I'm going to make, like, say, instead of, um, I'm going to make a little, excuse me, little cakes. Instead of cupcakes, traditionally, I'm going to make them in these little crocs. This was a dollar. There's another, another one with um, gingerbreads, a dollar. Don't break it, Melissa. This other one is mismatched, but I really don't freaking care. It says autumn, a dollar. Those are going to be the little crocs where I can make, you know, little cupcakes, but loaves they're going to be. Now, I saw this because I don't have loaf pans, you know, to make. My husband loves banana bread, so I want to. I found some banana recipes that I want to try to do for him. But I don't have, you know, these loaf things, so I thought that was pretty good. Three loaf pans. For a dollar each, I just have to make sure, hopefully no one breaks them. This is the big, there, I see it better. It's holiday themed, like I said, I really could care less what the design is. It is a Temptations Presentable Ovenware um, by Tara. Man, this, we're having... I can't show you that. I don't know. For some reason, we got some weird light coming through the window. Anyhow, this is a really big loaf pan, so I can make him a really nice banana bread in this. This was only $3. So I feel like for $6 that, that this was good for these. Um, so I can, like for instance, if I want to make Paul <clears throat> like a banana one, but then I want to change it up a little bit and put, like, um, chocolate chips for Samuel. They didn't have four. I really wanted four. That way I could make each person an individualized cupcake-type loaf thing. They only had three. So, anyhow, I can do some baking and feel like I have the right tools because that usually... I get so frustrated because I don't have the right tools. Okay. I was really happy. Um, I'm all about comfortable pants, um, sleep pants and all that sort of thing um, because of this corona. I found these. Um... It's like an oatmeal color, but they've just got these really dark kind of cranberry flowers on them, which I really don't care. I don't care what it looks like. These are thermal underwear, Simply Pleasures, size 2X. So that's what I wear. I got these. Nice pants. They look brand spanky new. I don't think anyone's ever worn them. 2X, $3.99 is what I paid for these. So I'm excited that I found some sleep pants. Oh, I saw this and thought of Buddy Will. I thought Will would really like this. I don't know why we're having this weird light situation. Um, it's making everything look foggy. Could be that. Um... This is Disney. Oh, thank you, Paul. That makes a big difference. Um, Tigger and Pooh, Super Sleuth Christmas Movie. Will is our oldest autistic son. He doesn't watch um, rated R movies or adult-type movies that we watch. Will's all about his Disney movies. So I saw this, and he does not have this. So I thought he would enjoy this. This was only $3, so I got that for Buddy Will. Haven't given it to him yet. Okay. Um, I saw some really cute plates um, that I wanted to get. And anymore, I will not buy expensive plates. When we got married, I had a whole, whole complete set of faults graft, And we were moving in. I'm not blaming anyone, but the whole whole thing got ruined. I will not spend that kind of money on 
plates anymore. I mean, it was sickening. It was, I felt heart sick. But I saw these adorable plates. They're square. And they're, I don't know what kind of, it's, it'll break. Look how cute they are. They're just these kind of happy square plates. This is what the back says. Katie Brown, keeping it simple at Meyer. Okay, so these are from Meyer. Dishwasher safe, microwavable. Now, and this is interesting. It says, we'll get hot in the microwave. So thank you. Some idiot, you know, didn't realize that. Um, these were only a dollar piece. I thought they were so cute. So they did have a four-piece place setting. So I got four. Four of those. So I won't feel bad, you know, if these four dollars plates get ruined. I won't be sick over it like I was the false crap. Never again. So I thought those were really, really pretty. I'm sorry I have to keep turning my back on you, but I have to make sure I put this breakable stuff where it won't get messed up. Okay. This I really, really liked. Um, this is um, Village Modern Thomas O'Brien. This is a really sturdy, nice, it's faux leather, okay? It's not real leather, but it looks super duper expensive. This is really nice to have on a coffee table or if you have an ottoman, it's very, very sturdy. So Paul and I could put our snacks and our drinks on this and put it on top of an ottoman and we would not have to worry that the dogs would spill it. It'd be very sturdy. It's a very nice size, okay? Very, very um, kind of felted at the bottom. This looks brand spanky new. This was only $4. I was super duper happy to find this. Finny decided to join us. And I know you can't see it, but it's a, it's a beige a grayish beige and it definitely looks like leather it's got looks just like leather which you can't see it's not leather I'm pretty sure I don't think it's leather anyhow super excited to find that okay so that's what I found at at the new Goodwill store okay let me show you what we picked up at Speedway. We had to get new drinks. Paul saw this. 10 pack of these little cinnamon whiskey fireball things. Um, and he was talking about it. Oh, I used to drink that. I said, get it. Get it, Paul. These, and you get 10 bottles. This was $10. So basically it's a dollar. I don't drink this because I have a bad stomach. So he got this for himself. I'm not a regular drinker either. No, I mean, you know, that could last him. Who knows? The last time I had a drink, let me put it this way. There was, this has been years ago. We had alcohol because I am very picky what I'll drink. Like wine coolers I like. I like frozen daiquiri, you know, like um, margarita. What is that? The margarita, Paul? Like the, the lime margarita. Anyhow. We had alcohol that was in the refrigerator for years and years. It was never touched. We finally just took it out. So, and I, because of the medicine I take, I have to be very careful. I can't drink, okay? So if I have, and this has been years, I haven't had any alcohol at all in probably three years at least. So I've never been a big drinker. Other, you know, I, I'm, we're not going to talk about that. I had some bad time when I was 25 years old with depression, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So, I told him to get his fire things that he wanted. Occasionally, I do like a frozen um, margarita. Hasn't, haven't had one in years and years because I do have to be very careful with the medicine. 
I wanted some Cheez-Its. So I got me some Cheez-Its. This is a three ounce bag and this is like $1.70 at our Speedway. So $10 on the Fireball thingies. $1.70 on this. And this was almost $2, but I wanted to try this. Seven day soft croissant. This is strawberry and vanilla flavor fillings. So I wanted to try that. So I got it. That was a Speedway haul. Okay. Now, my husband took one of my Versace boxes. Because um, I like to get... Um, I have a signature scent. Yellow Diamond by Versace. That's what I wear. That's my signature scent that's mine that I like to wear. So I have all these boxes. He took one. Anyhow, and he put some treats in it for me as a surprise. He got me my favorite, and I'm telling you, if you ever see these at Walmart, you need to get them. Decadent Pearl Sugar Cookies to Die For. Three cookies for a dollar. The best dollar you will ever spend. Something new he got for me, and as you can see, it's already empty. I attacked these last night. I was bad. Gummy Cluster Nerds, OMG to die for, and I'm sure I paid for it with my sugar, but you know what? It was New Year's. <laughs> I don't care. Um, he did get me this slice of, this is also, uh-oh, the icing is fallen. Help me, I've fallen. Uh, iced lemon cake from Walmart. He gets um, banana cake, banana bread, and he said it is to die for. So he got me this lemon cake variety. As you can see, I have not touched it. Two more boxes of lemon heads, which I did not touch. I'm going to be try to be very good about not eating all this too close together. I really am going to try, okay? And I thought this was so cute. Will wanted to go to Peddler's Mall. We have this place called Peddler's Mall, and we need to go there one day and take a video for you guys. Basically what it is, it's a, uh, what? Uh, I guess it's court, sort of like an antique mall, okay? There's a bunch of booths that are marked where people can, it's also like a flea market. it's like a flea market, but there's not people in there, you know, as you walk by, hey, how are you? Look what I'm selling. It's not like that. It's where you go in, these sellers set up a booth. This is what their wares are. You can leisurely walk through if, you know, and you can take pictures like I do a lot. If there's something that I like, I'll take a picture and then I'll take a picture of their number of their booth so I know where to come. Um, the kids love it. We like it. Will wanted to go and spend his Christmas money that he got from his grandpa um, and Carolyn, $25. So he went and bought he got, I think it was probably 25 videos because they're a dollar a piece for DVDs. Look what Paul found. Those of you that know me from my other, my old channel that someone took over and we had to, you know, YouTube deleted it. It used to be Kitty's Bling Bling. If you know me from that, you know that I love Hello Kitty. He found this five DVD collection. I don't know what he paid for it. I'm not asking to find out how much he paid. So sometime to tonight, I'd like to um, watch this. But I thought this was so cute. Even if it's not movies that I would watch over and over, um, I still have it for my collection. I collect Hello Kitty things, okay? So he got me that. And see, they're just kind of in there like that. So I thought that was super cute. And of course, he's very good about, you know, putting these things in packages and stuff to try to throw people off. So I thought it was cute that he took one of my Versace boxes. So that was that. Okay. What did we get at Walmart? Oh my lord. We picked up some Purina Cat Chow Complete for Ivy. She likes this. 
She does good on this. So we got that for her. I don't have all three bags because there's really no need to show you the three bags, just tell you. Um, our Chihuahuas. Love, love, love this. Purina Bella. Please do not Purina ever get rid of this because my little peanut, I don't know what I will do. They absolutely love this. So we got three bags of this. This is very hard to find. They used to sell this in big bags, but unless you order it from Amazon, we just can't find it. Okay. Oh, Lord, that sun is wicked. All right, those of you two that know me, there we go, um, know that I love my Terra and Sky brand at Walmart. I found a, pant, a pair of pants that I really, really like from Walmart. I have them, I showed them to you before. I have them in orange. I have them in uh, turquoise and I have them in purple. And I just found out that they also came in black. So they said they were at this particular Walmart that they were there. So we went and guess what? We couldn't find it. We even had some lady help us and she's like, oh, uh, well, apparently we haven't had time to put them out yet. I said, you people just sent me because I've had it in my cart for over a week waiting for payday. Um, oh, they're all back in stock. Come get it. You know, this is where it's at. So we came here to get, I wanted to get two pairs of the black. They're athleisure is what they call it. Athleisure. Terra and Sky, they are to die for. $15 a pair, $14.96. You know, love them. Comfortable. Oh, just snuggly. So she's like, I don't know where they are. They weren't on the floor. Everything was so thrown together. Like they had Terra and Sky, which is a plus size brand, mixed in with the junior section. It's like, excuse me, this is, what is happening here? Everything was just willy nilly um, the way they did it. And she's like, hmm, I don't know where these are. I don't know. Maybe they're still in the back. And then she's like, but I, I wouldn't know where to go because none of the boxes tell me what it is. I'm like, well, uh, wh how am I supposed to get my pants? What do I do? And they won't let me order them and do store pickups, so that wasn't an option, which I don't know why. So basically, the lady's like, oh, you're going to have to pick it up and then have it shipped to you. Well, that's fine and dandy to tell me that, but then I'm going to pay almost $10 in shipping and tax fees. It says they're here at the store. Why can't I get them? I don't know. I talked to my husband, and it did say that um, with the two pairs of pants that I had in my cart, add, I don't know, like six or seven more dollars, and the shipping's free. So he told me to go ahead and do it. So t tonight, I'm going to do it. So anyhow, looking around, I just happened to see these thrown in a box. I will give you this. If you're a 4X person, which I'm not, I wear a 2X in the Terra and Sky, okay? This store is wonderful for having all the 4Xs, but that won't fit me. It's way too big. I managed to find one pair, and I was this was the only color I could get, but it's Terra and Sky, so I got it. I got these sweatpants. It's got the string, okay, which tightens, pockets. And it has, it looks just like a pair of Hanes, so to speak. You know, it's got the elastic down here. Um, no pockets in the back on the booty. Like the other ones I got, the athleisure kind, had pockets in the booty. But there is pockets here. So all I could find was this um, gray color. And they simply call it 2X, 20 to 22 gray core sweatpant. That's what they're calling it. Okay. And where's this? Okay. There's the Terra and Sky tag. 
these were all, this pair was $9.97. But let me tell you, they feel super, super soft on the inside. So this was the only pair I could find. So I wanted to try these out. So I got that pair. All right. I am so sorry with this weird sunlight coming in here. Okay, I wanted to try these. Um, I'm telling you, if you can find them, you need to get it before everything is like gone. Because that's the issue we ran into last year early on with this corona hit. I saw these BioPure disinfecting surface wipes. You get 72. This was less than $3. I think it was like $2.97. I want to keep this like in the bathroom because I don't know about you. The bathroom um, sink gets yucky, yucky. And I wanted this to, in fact, I was trying to clean up in there today with the towel and I wasn't having much luck. So this is going to be in the bathroom to clean um, the surface. So, made in the USA. Okay. I had to get me some more gas X pills. Maximum strength. I totally ran out of the soft gels. I had chewables, but I prefer the soft gels. So I had to get that. I ran out of my hairspray. This is something I buy all the time. Got to be glued. This is uh, $4.97. This is really good hairspray. It's a light hold. I've got it on right now. It's a light hold, so don't expect um, to have spiky hair with it. I kind of would like to find a more intense hairspray because with my hair cut like this, I kind of would like to experiment with it, but I don't have the proper hairspray to hold it up. So anyhow, I love this hairspray. So I was running out. I needed it. Um, I, we usually get Dove, but Equate has been having some of this... Um, it looks just the same as Dove. It's the cucumber deodorant. Even my boys like this because um, there's so many choice um, Dove. There's, I don't know, maybe eight different or even more, eight different scents that you can pick out. Um, so I got this one, just, you know, the Equate to save a little bit of money. It's the same in the cucumber. This is for the bathroom. Again, trying to keep up from stuff being such a mess. Um, the Q-tips in this nice, cute little plastic container. So hopefully, because how the boys have been doing it is they've been leaving it in this one tray and they've been getting wet and yucky. So it's going to stay in this nice, hard container. Less than $2, like $1.98. Good deal. I wanted one of these to keep in my purse. Um, it's just one of these little, and you should be able to refill it. You could easily take a butter knife and get the lid off. Um, I don't know about you, but I like Gold Bond medicated powder. There's also something I really like called snake powder, but it comes from um, Thailand. So this is to stay in my handbag because I do sweat a lot because of my premenopausal crap that I have to deal with, so I wanted this for my purse. So I can use it and then refill it when it needs to be refilled. This was like a dollar. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I told you that I've, um, oh, where's that other bag? It's called with my acne stuff that you bought me. Oh, it's already in the bathroom, I think. Um, because of all the night sweats and stuff, my skin um, doesn't handle that well, and I get issues so I needed to get some diaper rash cream that's all I'm gonna say okay that's all I we're not gonna go to detail I got this to drink in the car but as you can see I didn't drink it 87 dollars and 16 cents at Walmart I have a couple more bags um, to show you Okay. Oh, Lord, 
that's heavy. Paul and the boys like this. Buy two and save. Three and one. These are super heavy. These are two 28 ounce containers. Um, it's called Citrus Rush. I bet that smells good. I love a good citrus. This is three in one. It's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So that's for the boys. Oh, Paul finished his Mountain Dew. Like I said, I didn't drink mine in the car, so I got it for later. This is that. Oh, I love this one, Paul. Uh, there's yeah, I love this one. I had a small bottle of this for when we went to the Y like two years ago. We didn't get to go to the Y this past summer because of the Rona. But I'm so happy I didn't see Paul pick this up. But he picked up this huge thing of juicy pomegranate and mango. It is delicious. 32 fluid ounces with this pump. Um, it's body wash, okay? Body wash. I love this. Love it. And then we needed a big, humongous refill of Fresh Scent Foaming Antibacterial Hand Wash. Because Paul just brought home last night, we needed more hand soap for the bathroom, and he got the foaming type. So we picked up this nice refill. That's what you need to do. Pick up a couple of the actual smaller ones and then pick you up a nice, big, huge refill and just keep refilling them. That's what I do. And Paul, this wasn't in the $88 trip. This was from last night when he went. Um, I, have, I told you because of um, my premenopause crap that started when I was 40, and here it is. I'm going to be 54, and it's still going on. Um, I have a lot of sweating when I sleep, despite the fact that I have two humongous fans blasting me and freezing him out. I still wake up soaking wet. Um, out at shopping, I get soaking wet, like the back of my neck, um, my back. It's just, it's horrible. It's, it's ridiculous. So... I needed to get some kind of a acne treatment thing because my back has been breaking out and it just won't stop. Won't stop. As you can see, I don't have um, breakouts on my face. Like occasionally I'll get a breakout down here. It's healed right now from the face mask we have to wear. So I don't have issues with breaking out here too much, but I have a lot on my back and it's constantly. Um, because I constantly use this to kind of dry it out. This is the Equate version, but sometimes I'll get Equate, sometimes I get Neutrogena. This is the Clarifying Pink Grapefruit Wash. Um, I always use this on my back and face, you know, to take the oil out. And I told Paul it just hasn't been cutting it. I buy like a little container of acne uh, drying stuff and put it on my back. It's a catch-21 type thing. You get it, and it, your skin gets so dry that you start scratching, and then it just it doesn't heal. I even cut my nails back to keep from digging at it. I said, I have to get some sort of a system um, that, you know, specifically for acne-prone skin that will, you know, use to wash it and then moisturize, but will help with the itching, but will also tackle the acne. We're going to try this. This is Equate's version of Proactive. Okay? Um, purifying cleanser, 4 ounces. Rejuvenating toner, 4 ounces. Repairing lotion, 2 ounces. And I also, he also ordered me this thing. I Two products I wanted from Amazon. One was almost 40 freaking dollars. But it's to help with, because of the acne, I have... Um, dis skin discoloration, really dark spots that even when I don't have acne from the after effects of battling this for a long time 
So I had to bite the bullet, and Paul got me the $40 stuff, and we're going to use it on my back, and I really hope that it helps with, the dis you know, resurfacing the skin, getting rid of the discoloration marks because of this craziness. And then I also picked out another thing um, for problem skin. Uh, and, you know, there's, I hear I'm thinking I'm alone, you know, by myself. And so I did some research, and apparently it's just a thing. Of You have acne issues when you're a teenager, but they don't ever talk about this stupid premenopause crap that we have to go through. And it's been going on for 14 years, and it won't freaking stop. I've had a complete hysterectomy two years ago. These hot flashes have never, ever stopped. The um, skin issues have never, ever stopped. I'm just, I'm beyond had enough of this BS. Um, oh, shoot. I messed up. Hold on. Um, I was going to show you the products that, I'm or that he ordered for me. From Amazon. I'll show you too. I'll do an unboxing when it comes in. Well, you're not going to see it that well. Um, anyone else, if any other older women have this problem, let me know. If you're having the same type of issues I am and you found something that works for you, please reach out to me. Please. So the two things, oh, so that must have been on sale because it was it was more than that. Okay, Paul got it on sale, which is good. The Lactic Rescue, Rescue Toner. It's a resurface and exfoliated. It was on sale now for $29 because it was um, almost $40. And then I got something called Cystic Acne Treatment and Acne Scar Remover. Made in the USA. Um, $25.89. I know you probably can't see that well, but... I don't know why we're having such a... Those are the two products I'm going to be getting from Amazon. When they come in, I'll do an unboxing. I really hope they help because I'm very, very, very uncomfortable. You know, it's... Like I said, you're in a no-win situation. You're trying to treat the breakouts, but then everything dries your skin so bad that you're constantly, like, scratching and... and um, tearing the tissue up and then you have to wait for that to heat. It's, it's ridiculous. So, yeah. I hope some of this stuff helps. Um, we're going to try some of maybe this repairing lotion tonight um, to help with the itching. So, I, I had some Neutrogena um, astringent that I hadn't put on my back last night but I told him, I said, I just wanted to just dig into my skin. Because it's so uncomfortable. It's so dry. Yeah. I don't. I do not know what to do. I'm at the point where I'm just throwing my hands up. And I said I, I give up. I don't know what to do anymore. And all the stress from this pandemic is not helping. Oh, okay. Number one. This was the one product. It's like a salve type thing or whatever. Um, I did. I spent hours researching acne products for people like me and my age group that possibly may have the same issues I'm having. That product got a lot of good reviews, so I'm hoping. I have a, a lot of hope that this product will help me. Um, yeah, because like I said, this product here that I use in the shower is... Um, the Equate is less than $5, and it's not getting it done. Not getting it done. This was the super expensive stuff that he managed to get on sale. Normally, this is like $40. Somehow, he made, they dropped it by $10, which I'm happy. This is supposed to target and help with the scarring. That's what that's for. So, um, because, you know, when I'm... When you're at home, the only person that's going to see my back is my husband and me when I look at it in the mirror. But, like, say you like to go swimming. You don't, 
it's embarrassing to go to the Y and be out and about with a bathing suit that everyone can see your back and see that you've got all this discoloration from acne. Even if you don't have acne at, the, at that time, you still have all these dark spots from acne. But, you know, a couple years ago, I did manage to find a bathing suit, and I kept this in mind when I bought it because of my back breakouts. It looks just like a wetsuit. Zips up the front. It um, comes to here. Looks just like a wetsuit. But down at the bottom it has, um, it's not a high thigh. You know, it's, it's more of a brief, an older woman's brief bottom. And, and I put like a, a swimming skirt over it. So, yeah, I'm totally like covered. It zips up, covers here, your whole back is covered. So that way no one can see um, the acne, you know, scarring, and it makes me feel better. And plus it helps protect with the skin, uh, with the uh, sun, damaging, whatever. Okay, everyone, I just wanted to show you, excuse me, that was Goodwill Hall, Walmart, Speedway, um, my husband's surprised that he package he put together for me. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to do another video um, if we do order these pants from... Uh, I'll wait to do the review of those um, Terra and Sky athleisure pants that I like when the black ones come in. And I can show you all four colors. Um, so, I love them. Love them, love them. Love them. Yeah, we have to get going. Paul's birthday was um, December 28th. So uh, we are going out tonight. Where are we going to go, honey? Where'd you decide? At New Burger Place. What New Burger Place? The train one? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to go to, is that technically like Centerville? It's close to Centerville. It's close to Centerville. Like I said, we're having issues with the sun. Um, there's this place. It's a train type. I don't remember the name. Paul and I went there by ourselves. Awesome burgers. Awesome. I'm going to bring a menu home if they have a paper menu. I'm going to bring one home and I'll show it to you that way. But you know how we like to go to Cheddar's? It is just a few doors down from Cheddar's in Centerville. Can't think of the name. They had the best burgers. And I don't really like to order burgers a lot because I get sick of them. But I'm telling you what, I had an awesome mushroom and Swiss burger from there. Oh my gosh, I ate half of it there, and then I brought the other half home, and I reheated it in our air fryer. Really good french fries, too. Um, natural cut french fries, lightly seasoned. Oh, here it is, okay. Bagger Dave's... Um, yeah, they serve creative burgers, comfort sides, craft beer, wines, and cocktails. But they have, what's interesting is right around the top, they have a train that can actually run through the restaurant. And our oldest son, Will, who's autistic, which you guys know, obsessed, obsessed with trains. He absolutely loved trains. So I think he's going to be super excited. Will's been wanting to get out. Um, so that's where it was Paul's choice. He got to choose where he wanted to go for dinner. That's where he decided. Maybe we'll take a short. I'll take a their, short video their in the place. Is considered prime rib burgers. Oh, that's right. They're prime rib burgers. So, I if I remember correctly, they average fourteen and fifteen dollars a piece. But I'm telling you what, it's worth it. It is worth it. The French fries are really good. They're like more of a natural cut. The French fries heated up, reheated really nice. My half of the burger heated up super nice. And what's interesting, I thought this was really neat. We ordered um, cheese curds, but they've got some signature sauces like that you can get with things. Like we ordered the cheese curds. She's like, okay, what sauce do you want with it? And I'm looking. And they had some sort of honey and cinnamon. And I said, just to, I said, can I have some of that? I want to taste it and try it. Not that it really goes with cheese curds. It 
was so good. It was like, it looked just like honey, text, you know, like uh, consistency. It was awesome. Really, really good. I said, you know what? This would be really good on a piece of toast, buttered toast or a croissant. Really, really good. They had some other signature, unique signature sauces. So, but I'll get a menu or else take a video in the place tonight and show you the selection because the it's really neat. Oh, okay. Thank you, Paul. House made sauces. Honey mustard, Rail House Thousand Island, Buttermilk Ranch. Here it was. Honey, cinnamon, sea salt. Yum. Buffalo garlic. I can't do garlic. It makes me deathly sick. Apple jalapeno barbecue, chipotle barbecue, sweet barbecue, blue cheese, Santa Fe chipotle, and then garlic aioli. I did question the girl. Um, there was some other things on the menu. It's like, oh, I would love to get that, but it's got that stupid garlic aioli stuff. And garlic, you can ask my husband, deathly sick. If I have anything with garlic, it's a guarantee I'm going to be sick. And I asked her, I said, I would like to order this, but I want to make sure that it doesn't have, like, the mushrooms. I wanted the mushroom and Swiss burger, but I was terrified that they were going to cook the mushrooms and garlic, because a lot of places do. And I told her, I said, I'm very allergic to garlic, and I just want to make sure that I can order this, that they won't have it in my, they won't cook my mushrooms or whatever. And she's like, no, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm really happy about that. Because last, not this past January, but the one before, um, for my birthday, I wanted to go to the Cheesecake Factory. And you know what? Good luck finding something on their menu that doesn't have garlic. I looked and I, it's like there was hardly nothing that I could get that I could order that I could have. And I even asked the girl... Is there, please, something I can get that they won't throw garlic in it? And basically, what did I end up getting that day? It was ridiculous. Oh, Trying to... Fried shrimp was all you, that was left. Uh, the only, only thing I could get on the menu that was safe completely was some sort of breaded shrimp. And you know how big um, the Cheesecake Factory's menu is. So are you telling me... But this is the only thing on the whole menu I can get that doesn't have garlic. I, I don't understand. Don't get it. So I'm not going to um, Cheesecake Factory this year for my birthday. I'm going to go to, um, we got a new restaurant. It's like the Japanese steakhouse where they fix your stuff right in front. That's where I'm going. So, okay, guys. I hope I didn't bore you with all my talking, but I wanted to let you know that we had a very busy day today, and uh, we do have some video footage that we took over the holidays we're going to be working on, uh, letting you guys see um, that. We're a little late on this because there was three days where I got sick and I wasn't feeling good. Don't, don't worry, nothing bad, no Rona. It's just I had some problems with my stomach. Hope you guys are all doing good. I hope um, everyone, I hope we all have a really good 2021. I don't know. Like I said, we already had a tire issue, but whatever. So um, please be on the lookout for our new videos we're going to be doing. We're going to do um, one together um, about CB. That's all I'm going to say. Those of you that know... It's some videos that Paul's been doing about this person, CB. We're going we're gonna to do that together. Um, so anyhow, bye everyone. Stay humble and kind. You see Finny? Look. Look at Finny. Finny, Finny. There's a Finny. Now all the other, do all the other dogs are coming.